All right, now we're getting to modern day, 1924-25. Yes, we're only 14 years away from World War II, uh, which is two weeks. I mean, really, come on. Um, years used to be weeks. That's in my fake history series. Anyways. Um, Hamilton leads the way, which was their undoing. Hamilton ends up finishing first in the league that year in 1910-1. and one. Now, for anybody who's following this series, you know, Hamilton's been at the bottom. Just crap, crap. And this year, they were pretty good. But they submarine themselves. The Toronto St. Saint Pats, they're not the Maple Leafs yet, were 19-11. Um, Montreal Canadiens were 17-11-2. Uh, Ottawa Senators, 17-12-1. Montreal Maroons, a brand new expansion team, 9-19-2. And, and the Boston Bruins, the first American team in the NHL was born. Uh, they were 6-24 and that first year, had a pretty bad team. But there was a lot of excitement about hockey in Boston, so it's okay that first year. Uh, the Maroons actually played in the Forum. So the Maroons come in and they get a brand new building. The Montreal Forum is where they played. Um, and they decided to change the playoff format because now there's six teams. So they decided the first place team gets a buy into the finals and teams two and three would play against each other for the right to play against the team that finished first. Um, but the, the Tigers players... These guys up here, you know the guys who've been crap every year that I've talked about this? Um, yeah, they they decided they wanted an increase because the, the schedule had increased by 25%, but their pay had not. So they said, you know what, we're all getting $200 each or we're on strike. Frank Calder said, all right, you're suspended. So the winner of these two teams will go on to the Stanley Cup final. The Hamilton Tigers never played again. So is that the curse of the Hamilton Tigers? Is that where we can take this then? Is this why the NHLs looked at Hamilton and said, nah, this players went on strike back in 1925. Tag with them. I'm putting a team back there. That was only 90 years ago. Takes a while for these things to to to, 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 to simmer and, and, and stop boiling over. So we'll just put another team in Atlanta. Um... So the NHL winner actually got the Prince of Wales trophy. You know that trophy that you get in the Eastern Conference that nobody wants to touch, and then the Capitals picked it up this year, so everybody went, oh, the Capitals are jinxed, and then the Capitals won anyways? That's what the NHL winner got. And I don't have footage of anybody carrying around the Prince of Wales trophy, so I, I guess it's jinxed. I guess so. Uh, the semifinals, this is where it's weird. The NHL semifinals. Uh, Montreal beats Toronto 3-2 to in the first game. They beat Toronto 2 to nothing in the second game, so they win a total goal series 5-2. to The NHL Finals are cancelled because of the aforementioned Hamilton Tigers saying, we want, we want money. And so the NHL disbanded the team in the offseason to award them for that demand. Um, the actual Stanley Cup Final was in Victoria, minus one game. Uh, Victoria wins 5-2 in the first game. The second game was played in Vancouver. They win that one 3-1. Uh, Montreal wins game 3. We're back in Victoria for that one, 4-2. Victoria wins game 4, 6-1. So the Victoria Cougars won the Stanley Cup. Now, I don't know if you can grandfather that in for the Detroit Red Wings, but the players from, from Victoria, when that league disbanded, ended up becoming members of the Red Wings. So do the Red Wings deserve another Stanley Cup? There's a question for you. Uh, the Hart Trophy was awarded that year to Billy Birch of Hamilton, who I assume was suspended at the time of the uh, awards being handed out. Or maybe Frank Calder said, here's your award, and hit him with it. Uh, Frank Nyberg got the Lady Bing. So the Lady Bing was the second trophy awarded in the NHL. And, of course, that's for gentlemanly conduct. And why not? Uh, Nybor, a very respected, I believe he's in the Hall of Fame player. Uh, a lot of these guys are in the Hall. Uh, Babe Dye, speaking of Hall of Famers, 38 goals to lead the league that year, so they go up to 30 games, and goal scoring goes up again because expansion. Um, assists, there's a tie for the lead between Cy Denony and Red Green with 15, and I don't think he's related to the character from the TV show in Canada. Uh, top goaltender, George Vesna, 17 wins, 5 shutouts, 1.81 goals against. So Vesna was the best goaltender that year. Uh, Benedict still excellent, but uh, Vesna better. And you'll notice that Ottawa's started kind of falling off the pace a little bit this season. Uh, we'll see how they get back on the pace as the years roll along here. But we're over halfway through the Ottawa Senators' initial run in the NHL. And things look pretty good. I mean, you've got 
Five out of six teams are Canadian. The American team isn't any good. They're an expansion team. And uh, it will stay a mostly Canadian party for a while yet. But uh, there will be an original six period that doesn't start for quite a while yet. Uh, the original six period is this weird time between, I think it's 1947 and 1967 or 45 and 67. Either way, it's when the New York Americans disappeared from the league. Um, but it, it gives this impression that those were the first six teams in the league. And it's just, it's not the case. Uh, yes, they, they are the original six that are currently in the league, but there were teams before that. So it's part of the reason I'm doing this series because we've got a lot of uh, new fans to the league, uh, the Vegas fans and other fans as well. People who may have just been casually interested and now they just got into it. And uh, it's just kind of a fun thing to look at. Uh, and this was the end of the Hamilton Tigers. I think their mistake was they actually got kind of good. And that ended them. So there you go. On that note, and with an apology to Hamilton, that's it for me for now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And congratulations to Victoria, the 1925 Stanley Cup winners. The only time that the Stanley Cup was awarded to a non-NHL team after the formation of the NHL. I'll talk to you again soon.